What's up all my fellow collecting nerds? In today's video, I am going to show you a mini Funko haul of a few random Funko Pops that I bought off someone on the internet. All right, everybody, so like I said, today's video is going to be a mini Funko haul. Now, what happened is I am in all of those like Facebook groups. I basically just use Facebook for those groups anymore. Some of them are better than others. Um, but there is a local one where people buy, sell, trade, and I do live out in the country. Uh, there's just usually not people like selling things that I'm interested in so I hardly ever pay attention but the other day somebody posted that they had Funkos for sale and among the many things that I collect Funko Pops are definitely one of them I love me some Funko Pop nostalgia so um, I was like ooh Funkos but usually when people are selling them in these buy sell trade groups they're usually like the more expensive ones that are like a little too rich for my blood so um, but this one, I don't know what was happening, but she had a good like 10 to 12 Funkos that she was selling and most of them, like some of them were below what like would be like the MSRP. I don't think any of them were jacked up in price. I basically, I think I paid whatever she probably paid for them. Um, and even though she had like 12 and I was really tempted to buy almost all of them there was maybe only two that i wouldn't have loved we really wanted to narrow it down um we're trying to be these days a little more strategic because before i was kind of just buying them off of emotion like i would see one in a store and be like oh i love that character oh i love that thing like and i would just buy it but we had to kind of stop doing that we're running out of room so now we kind of have uh, collections of things um and so we went through and just picked out a few that kind of go along with the collections that we have um so we only ended up with four of them so i wanted to do this little mini haul and show you the four that we got now i'm an out of the box collector so i'm going to be showing them in box and then i'm going to take them out so if that is whew, if that's going to make you you know take a step back I apologize if I offend your senses, but they're coming out of the box, okay? So, without further ado, let's get started. All right, so the first one we got goes with our Star Wars collection. Now, I do plan to do a whole video. Um, I, I want to do a couple different videos with my Funko collections. I'd like to do one showing you all of our Star Wars stuff because we are in the midst of doing a Star Wars wall in our living room. So, we have mapped out the space. We figured it out. Um, we're actually getting ready to paint our living room. So after we paint it, we're going to put all, because we have so much Star Wars. You guys can't see it in this video, but I have like two shelves above me full of Star Wars stuff. We just got a whole bunch of new Star Wars stuff for our birthdays, which will be in a separate birthday video that will be up next week. Um, and then we got this Star Wars Funko. Um, so it needs its own wall. So we're actually going to vlog that and put that on this channel. But I'll also do a little walkthrough of all of our uh, collections at some point. Um, so this one is one that we're excited for. We've been wanting to get this character and just haven't had a chance to get one yet and so this one um so when she had this and she had this for like a regular in fact i think it might have been cheaper than i've seen it we went ahead and got it so the first one we have is the child from the mandalorian so of course everyone also knows the child as baby yoda aaron and i are no different than any other star wars fans we love baby yoda we loved him the mandalorian and so this one i think is like maybe the first one we've seen a couple of different ones since then we almost got the one where the frog was sticking out of the mouth and then also one of him in his little like ship thingy um but we haven't gotten this yet but she was selling this fairly cheap she sold it for a little bit more because it has this uh, protector in it or like a protector for the box but I mean we don't we're out of the box collector so we don't really care about that so speaking of that I'm gonna bust it out of this weird plastic thing and let's take a look at it a little bit closer so here it is out of that protector box but now I'm gonna take it out of this box okay so here it is it is so cute and I love this little bobblehead if you didn't already know this all the Star Wars Funko Pops um, have to be bobbleheads it's because they made a deal like in the 70s that like only one company could do the um, action figures so everything has to be a bobblehead so they can say it's not an action figure um, but I actually think in this case it's like really, really cute he's like no with you um he's adorable and he's like little corduroy so let me show you also there is a fly who is driving me nuts so if you see him i apologize but the dude is getting on my nerves all right so let's take a closer look at the child aka baby yoda look at that face his little corduroy coat and he's commanding i don't want to give anything away from the show but this is a classic show scene where he's doing something yeah look at the beauty 
So this one is gonna go perfect. We actually got another Mandalorian Funko for our birthday. Well, Aaron got it, but I will show it in my birthday haul next week. Okay, so that's it for that collection. Now, our next collection that we we're collecting a lot of is Nightmare Before Christmas. Aaron and I are huge Nightmare Before Christmas fans. It is our main focus for our Disney pin collection, and we also collect Funkos. Plushes, I mean, we, we collect a lot of stuff with Nightmare Before Christmas. We really have to edit ourselves because there's like a million Nightmare Before Christmas things. But we do love the Funkos. And so when we saw this one, we were like, well, yeah, we have to get it. So the next pop we got is Vampire Jack. Now, this is a Hot Topic exclusive. Um, what's funny about Jack is we don't have any regular Jack. We only have one other. Well, we have two Jacks. One of Snowman Jack. And then one of Jack and Sally on the Swirly Hill that I got from my brother Matthew. Thanks, Matthew. Um, but this is Vampire Jack. When we saw this, we were like, okay, we have Snowman Jack. We got to get Vampire Jack. So let's take him out of the box and see what he looks like. Also, just a little tip in case you didn't know this, because I was like only, I only know this for like a year. All Funkos come with little stands in this plastic. I've been throwing away so many stands over the years. And I have so many Funkos that don't stand on their own that I had to buy like third party stands and they don't really quite work on all of them. So whenever you guys get a Funko, check for the stands because they come with a stand that is meant specifically for your Funko. So let me put his little stand on him so I can hold him a little easier. So here is Vampire Jack. I love Vampire Jack. He's kind of creepy, but vampires are in right now. They're com they're making a comeback. So nothing more fitting than a Vampire Jack. Not gonna lie, my preference is a Jack and Sally, <laughs> but the Vampire Jack is cute and he'll go really cute next to our Snowman Jack, which I will do a separate video in the future on our Nightmare Before Christmas Funkos and all of our Nightmare Before Christmas collectibles. Okay, so then the last two actually go with a new avenue that we are pursuing with our collecting. Aaron and I also are huge horror buffs. If you didn't know this about us, we're obsessed with horror movies. Um, and every Halloween, well, every October, we do 31 days of Halloween where we watch a Halloween um, themed movie every day for the month of October. So sometimes it's a scary movie, sometimes it's a family movie, but we really wanted to expand our horror Funkos and just our horror collectibles all together. So you'll see some more of these next week in my birthday haul video. Um, but currently as far as like before anything that's about to be in videos we only had one horror funko and that is my carrie funko because carrie is one of my all-time favorite scary movies love me some carrie it's one of the creepiest movies it's one of the only movies that ever scared me as a kid so we wanted to add to that collection so in her collection she actually had three that would work but one was like more of a scene vehicle thing and as much as i loved it we just didn't want to spend a lot of money um so we kind of went for just the other two that were cheaper that fit that theme but she did have two horror or halloween-ish themed ones so the first one i'm going to show you is a beetlejuice funko so like i said she had another one that was like a Beetlejuice scene. I loved it so much you guys but it was just a little bit more expensive and we were trying to watch what we were spending. These we all got on deals so um, this is a only at go exclusive. I don't know what go is um, but this glows in the dark. So I absolutely love Beetlejuice. It's like a favorite movie of all time. This is where he's got his little guide hat on and um so when i saw this and she wanted i think like five bucks for it or something we were like yes let's get the beetlejuice funko um we don't have any he'll go great with our little horror collection so let's take him out of the box and take a closer look okay so this one actually did not include a stand um so hopefully he should be good standing on his own now it does like i say like i said i'm um, glow in the dark i'm not gonna be able to prove that um but let's take a look at him up close so here he is here looking very beetle juicy i want to be careful and not say that three times but that's actually funny to say beetle juicy like super beetle juicy um so yeah i love this i love this movie so so much you guys it's like a classic you know and i don't know if we've ever watched it during a 31 days of halloween I don't think we have, so I'm going to have to add that to the film list this year to watch a Beetlejuice uh, in honor of getting this Funko. So, he's so cute. <sighs> he's got like garbage or something smeared all over him. I don't know, he's kind of gross, but he's cute. Okay, and now the last one is actually pretty creepy, you guys. I wasn't sure if we should get it. Um, the movie that this is from, we actually didn't care for 
it was just okay but the character is in a lot of other horror movies you'll know what i'm talking about in just a second so even though the this particular movie this one's from we don't love this character is terrifying in other movies so we were like Ugh, the series that it's from is very scary to us and this character is very scary i'm actually a little scared to have this in my room we may have to put the horror bunkos in our uh dining room or living room because i don't know if i want this one staring at me oh i'm already opening the box hold on before i open the box so this is the nun <laughs> and this is specifically the demonic version of the nun so she had both she had the regular nun and then she had the demonic and we just were like we just need one nun we don't need both this one's way scarier the other one was just kind of weird um and so this is specifically from the movie the nun which is the spinoff of the conjuring series um that has this nun in it all the time it's kind of like the main antagonist of all the conjuring movies um but this is specifically from the spinoff which we didn't really care for it's just okay but we love the conjuring movies and this nun is so scary and this demonic face is terrifying. So let me take it out of the box and show you. Okay, so this one doesn't have a stand either, but it does have a very flat bottom, so it's not gonna have any problem standing. So let's take a close look at it. Yikes! <laughs> that is a creepy nun, right? At least for a Funko. I've seen, I'm in a horror, a couple of horror collectible groups on Facebook um, that have like actual like life-size nuns and stuff that are so creepy. But for a Funko, this is pretty, this is pretty creepy, not gonna lie. Those eyes look like they would um, glow in the dark. I, they don't, but ugh, this is so freaky, right? Like, who wants to staring at them when they go to sleep? I, I think we're going to have to put it in the living room. But I really like this a lot. This is a good addition to our horror pops. And like I said, if you haven't already hit the subscribe button, please make sure that you are subscribed because next week I'm going to be doing a birthday haul that does include a few more Funkos. So if you enjoy watching Funko content and Funko hauls, you won't want to miss that video. So, and there are two horror pops that are included in that. So these are the four Funkos that I got randomly off of a Facebook community group. Um, I love all of them. I always like to pick a favorite in every video. If I had to pick one favorite, it would be my vampire jack because nightmare before christmas is my favorite movie it's my husband and i's like our it's like our movie we are jack and sally um and so love this one and i'm really excited to add it to our collection so what about you which of these was your favorite of the four was it vampire jack this creepy nun the child aka baby yoda or beetlejuice 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 comment down below let me know what about you do you collect funkos do you have like certain series or themes or do you just collect on a whim emotionally like i used to comment down below let me know and please be sure to give this video a like button it happens to check it happens it helps the channel and this is a new channel and i'm just trying to get all the traction i can so it helps all right guys thank you as always for watching and i'll see you next week with some more collections thanks so much for watching bye